This is our presentation on the psychological debate about whether intelligence is stable with age or if it changes. This debate has real-world applications in mandatory retirement ages and societal respect for elders. The information in this video comes from studies in which people were given intelligence tests. The first type of study that was conducted was a cross-sectional study. This compares different people of varying ages with each other. The older people scored worse, which led to mandatory retirement ages, among other things. This was used as evidence for change. The second type of study was a longitudinal study in which the same people were tested multiple times over their lifetime. This study was more widely accepted by psychologists and by the community as a whole. The outcome was evidence for stability. Testing the same people showed less decline. This more accurate study changed views on what retirement ages should be and on intelligence over time. Newer and more comprehensive studies have revealed that there are two different types of intelligence, crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence. Fluid intelligence, the type used by scientists and mathematicians, is at its peak in younger ages. Fluid intelligence is what allows us to analyze problems and think about things quickly. Crystallized intelligence is experience and knowledge of the world that increases with age, and is commonly used by authors and historians. In conclusion, youth allows for quick thinking and fluid intelligence, and old age allows for wisdom and crystallized intelligence. This has been our presentation on intelligence and aging.